pray for Don Lee for my dad. Oh. Everything I'm doing, you want to. Me blind, me can't walk, me everything. Oh. Allegation you hear my daughter I freaka saying about me. My fans, nothing like that. She's a damn liar. I met her the first time at a stage show that I was going in Montego Bay. She was in her late 20s, have two kids already. I am a blind man. I never see her. I don't know her. When she came, I don't, I never see her face. I, I'm fully blind at that time. So, right now, I don't even know what she look like. Just a song. It's just a song for all the fathers them of trouble them kids. That's what she said. That's why she wrote the song. And I get to understand it's not even she wrote the song. So, the man who produced the song, let me know, is him produce it and him write it. So it wasn't even Queen Africa it wrote the song? It was not song. her song. It only, only asked her to sing the song. Blessed love, big up, respect to all my Jamaica walk by massive. All my massive around the world. Everywhere in the world, you understand? You know it's Fabian Allen, you don't know big up every time. One love. I'm here with the great man. I am with, here with a legendary man. I'm here with a man who has stamped his name in the world and say, my name is Derek Morgan. You understand massive? So, you know Fabian, you know Jamaica walk by, and you know what I'm all about. I'm one of them real guys who just want to let persons know exactly what is going on in the world. It is actually a first for something like this on Jamaica Walk By, and I decided that I wanted to make this program be the first one. So I'm here with Mr. Derek Morgan, the legend. Big up, my general. You know you can't see so. Big up, man. Happy big up, see big up. On. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Morgan, you come out sharp, though, and looking really Oh, thank you, man. Good, man. Good. That is it. I always still have that nice little cool face like you born yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was born. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcy. Yeah, so, man. you know, the purpose of this interview is just to get to a point. We just want to bring across what Mr. Derek Morgan wants to say to the entire world and the allegations that has been brought against him. That is the purpose of this interview, to be clear. This is not about his history or anything like that this is what we want to talk about the serious point all right mr morgan um so these allegations that was brought against you by your daughter um what do you have to say about that boy i'm so mad about it i'm telling the truth i'm so so mad about this i knew my daughter as a adult I met her as an adult with two kids in her 20s. Mm. I was on a show in Montego Bay, and that's where I met her. So, hold on. For the persons who don't know, let me just elaborate on that. So you're telling me that the first time you meet your daughter, Queen Africa, she was in her 20s? Yes, sir. She was in her 20s or over. I don't know how much her age was, but she was in her 20s. And she told me she had two children. And that's the first time, that's and the conversation. That's the very first time I met her in Montego Bay. So, what? All right. So, you met her for the first time in her 20s, right? In yes. Montego Bay. Good. All right. So, have you, have you ever heard of having a daughter or so on before that? Yes. 
I heard of her, I know of her, but I never meet her. Okay. I know of her, uh, when her mother pregnant, she come and tell me that she was pregnant, and I tell her to get out of my life. And she went away. I heard that she um, have the kid and take it to take the kid to Montego Bay to live all in right. the hills. That's all I know about her. But I met her the first time at a stage show that I was going in Montego Bay. She was in her late twenties, have two kids already. I am a blind man. I never see her. I don't know her. when she came. I don't. I never see her face. I, I'm fully blind at that time. So, right now, I don't even know what she look like. Oh my God! So, you have never seen her, what she looks like, or nothing like that, like physically. Never. So never. The first time you're meeting her, she was in her twenties. And you're telling me that you don't know what she looks like? No, because so, I'm fully blind. So basically, for you to even say that, uh, I, I always hear persons saying that she looks like you. Uh, yes. So you believe them when, when persons tell you that she looks like you? The only reason I believe, because my cousin met her at the where she, she was, who called me at the hotel room and told me that my daughter was there. My cousin go and see her. And when he see her, he come back and tell me, say, she's dead stamp of my mother. Mm. And uh, that's why I accept her. Okay, so you accept her. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my. So, these allegations now, do you have anything in your head or a reason why she would come out after all these years to say something like that about you? Why? I don't know a reason. I don't have no, I have no slight reason why she would come out and say, I rape her. Because we never have a chance to rape her. The, the house that I was, never out of people. We always have people there. You understand? And they will stay in my house until bedtime they leave me. All right, so let me ask you a question. At what age? You, you realize that you are going blind? I'm blind from birth, right? I go to school. Uh, my, my aunt found out that I was blind because she went somewhere with me. And when I was out at the age of three, coming home, me said to my aunt, I can't see. And she said, what are you talking about? And walk away from me. I went to walk to find out that I was bucking in, in the dark mm -hmm. and turn back and hold my hands and call, write my mother in Kingston and let her know that Derek not seen. And my mother tell her to bring him, bring me to town. And I leave that. Uh, when I go to town, I was five years of age. Five years. Mm -hmm. And then they take me to the doctor and the doctor said, the older me get, they can't get, fix my eyes because I have night blindness. That was in Jamaica. I have night blindness and they can't fix it. So the older me get, it's going to be worse. After I grow up and in, 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 I go in school and everything, the teacher will place me at the blackboard. When I say place you at the blackboard, you mean you're up front? You have right to be... up front, the blackboard. At my eyes would run water, run water. And that is like what, primary school type of thing? Primary and high school. Yeah. It run water. I left school at 15. And when I leave school, my mother said she can send me on for further the, um, the education and go to a school called Model Private. And when I went there, I, I buck up more because I was very good in him. Um, Maths, you know, and I, um, at the age of 17, I left that school and I seek a job, and that job was in, in the welfare office. 
doing stenography work. All right? My eyes couldn't take it because I'm getting blinder and blinder. As they were by. That's what I'm saying? Run water from paper. Let me tell you something. I, I, I do all the work I could do to keep going, but I know God was on my side. He gave me a talent to live up. At the age of 17, I start singing. You know? And from there, I, I get successful and go on. So for someone to come this time now, to put down my work and try to put me down like that, and the person would be my daughter, may God bless her soul. You know, um, I'm lost for words for some of the things that you're saying, you know, but, um, you know, to the viewers, many persons probably know Mr. Morgan personally, you know. Um, um, these are always sticky situations. These are always touching, touching topics. And these are always, always be one of those topics that a lot of persons are afraid of because the seriousness of the situation. When somebody... Um, just say something about you or allegedly say you do something to them. You know, in this case, it's father and daughter. You That's understand? Right. And um, Mr. Morgan is now saying that um, those allegations against him are lies. It is notorious lie. She telling her that I rape her, she's telling lie on me. And she knew it. I don't know a reason. But she knew it. So, um, from she came out and said that, have she ever reached out to anybody for you or anything like that uh, you know of? Not that I know of. Not you know of. I only, they, they only saw it on social media, what she been saying. And I, know, I know this probably be one of the hardest times of your life. Very much so. Because I feel it to my heart. Trust me, I can't believe my own daughter will take such a lie on me to bring me down. But anyhow, she promised me that she was going to bring me down. You know why? Her boyfriend, that was Mr. Rebel, Tony Rebel, he had a show called Rebel Salute. Rebel Salute. He called me up one day and asked me if I would do rebel salute for him. I said, yes, and said, how much you want? I told him 200,000. He said, no, man, that no sound fair. He said, all right, give me 150,000 then. He said, no, sir, that no sound good. He said, what you have in mind, Tony? He said, 50,000. I said, go and feed your crackhead for <laughs> That's what I told him. About half hour he hung up and about half hour after, I freak her called me. She said to me, Dada, you let me down. I said, what do you mean by that? That time I did not know she was with Tony at the time when he was talking to me. I said, what do you mean by that? She said, I was sitting there with Tony and you let me down because I thought you would do the show for him. I said, for 50,000, I freak her. She said, yes. I said, making a feeding crackhead friend with it. And she begs. She said, you go on like you depend top. That's what you start telling me on the phone. You go on like you are on top. I'm going to pull you down. We must bring you down. That's what you said. But you never take her serious or them argument there. She said, if I even see your wife, I would have tried to poison her. Mm. That's what she said, you know. She said, this girl, you have a bad heart. So from that, me not talk to her. She and I don't talk. So like over the years before that, you normally like communicate, have you like have conversations with her like, 
from the time you met her? To yes, now? she used to come visit me often when I was living in, in, in Greenwich. Though. She used to come and visit often, daily, daily. But when she come, she stay, she have dinner, because I have some people used to cook for me in farm. And she says the reason why she come, because she can't get meat to eat by Tony Rebel. And this was when she was with, with, with Tony? Well, it got to be. It got to be when she was with Tony because she was telling me about Tony Rebel and him, she cannot eat meat around him. So she come by me and come have the meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why this is this this is trust me this is this is I, I'm glad that you're actually getting a chance to to speak out and how yes. you feel you know yes I feel bad about it because knowing you have your own daughter and she will go up on social media and telling people that I Derek Morgan rape her and I Derek Morgan is all kind of name that she gave me I don't feel good at that big. 83 year old man. I don't feel good about that. And she say again, me must she do this for me fret and dead as an 83 year old singer. I must fret and dead over this. No. What you expect? Hmm? How you expect I must feel when a daughter of yours say all those things? Can't feel good. She's evil. So, Mr. Morgan, um, so going forward, what, what, what really, what really steps? Is there any? I, I see it in the paper that you're, you're, you're putting out a lawsuit against her. Um, you, you have anything you want to say about that? Yes, I, I want to put out a lawsuit against her because I would like her to clear my name and show that the, tell the people say. Might be she going through something and you know it hurt her and so on, and she just want to make me feel bad about it. So I want her to clear my name from him saying me the rapist. I don't like that. That it's something dangerous. Then she have a daughter now who, 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 who telling my my granddaughter that my other granddaughter said. Grandpa rapist. All them things they murder you. I don't like to hear that. So that is all you want? You just want her to all come I, out I, I don't need nothing from Africa. Because I don't hate her. I love Africa to the ground, where, especially when she starts singing and getting good. I don't hate the girl. So, and even this that she say about it, you still don't have... No, I don't hate her. I just want her to clear my name. I want her to clear my name. And that's all, you don't want the money, you don't want any, you just want her to clear your name? I don't know her pocket. I don't know if she have money. I don't know her pocket. I don't run down people's things. I just want my name to clear. Said, well, she go back from social media and said, these allegations I brought against my dad was not true. That's all I want from her. Nothing more. I fully understand you, Mr. Morgan. Well, Massive, um, this won't be a long interview because, you know, um, I did this interview even for myself because as a fan of Mr. Derek Morgan, I, I listen to Mr. Derek Morgan's songs. Pretty much all my life, you know what I mean? Even playing video games, you'll hear Mr. Morgan's songs in video games and stuff. So it's a pleasure for me to be here, you know, beside such a great man, just to let him get an earwave to express himself the way how he's feeling. And, um, so that, and, and I'm hoping that doing this, you can have some form of ease and just... I don't, I don't want to say hope, I just want her to, if, if she's telling a lie, or if, if she's telling a lie on you, she would just come out and um, pretty much apologize, right? I love that. Um, again, 
I just want uh, 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 what they call it, the people who talk um, uh, and bash my name all the while. Like vloggers the and stuff. Vloggers and I want them to know I'm a clean heart man. I never, I have eight girl children. Why she's the only one I rape? Why I never rape the other seven? You see what I'm saying? How many kids do you have, Mr. Mark? I have 16 kids. You have 16. I don't know why she never, I never raped the, the, the rest of the girls. Why she? Everybody come around me. I think it burn your heart, man. Burn my heart. Yes, true. Yes. I'm so mad about it. Trust me. Mr. Morgan, um, you know, to all the viewers out there, you see Mr. Morgan, you hear what he's saying, you know, it's the first time he's actually really coming out on media to, to speak and to just show himself physically, the, telling how he feels. The reason why I didn't talk all the time she came out with this thing, the reason why I don't say anything, because people say I shouldn't answer because she's looking, um, Cloth? Yes. Okay. Sorry. That's why I didn't answer. But I see it going too far. And I don't want my name to mix up. So what I do, I, I put our last suit on her. And you know, to be silent in a situation like this, you know, when I'm when I was growing up, you know, your grandmother always say, silent mean consent. That's right. So um, for you to come out now and to show the entire world and to say how you feel and to say that these allegations are not true against you. They are not true. Not true. And she know it too. It's not true. She's a liar. She should be ashamed to hurt a good-hearted man Girl of her type should die insane. Imagine your daddy you're trying to put down, and when he know you, he show you nothing but love. See you as word, Mr. Morgan. You know what touched me, Mr. Morgan? For you telling us now that this is a lie. And you still have love for her, regardless yes, of the severity of it. Because my daughter. So I have love for her right on. I, I love all of my children, all of them. I love my children. Anything else if you feel inside that you want to say about the, the, the situation? Oh, I don't know even what to say because it's very hard for people to believe what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, I'm saying it from my heart because my heart is clean against Africa. She know within herself she's telling a lie on me. She knows, but she just wants to keep that up. I don't know, to look in something of a social media business or so, I don't know about it, because I can't say if you know about social media, I don't know nothing about it. These people have to tell me what's going on. Um, with the thing that she put up, these people let me know about it and tell me about it. All of my friends, them in the broad and so on, they call me up and they cry, because they know Derek is not the type man. They know. So we don't see why she should do that. Terrible man. So viewers, there you have it from Mr. Morgan and you know, he said he said a few things that, you know, um, even me myself, you know, are just looking at right now. And um, he said that first time he met Queen Africa. She was in her 20s. You also said that when you met her, you were already blind. 
Yeah, I'm fully blind, man. When you met her, you fully also blind. told us that you don't even know what she looks like even now. You have no to idea. Today, I don't know the looks of Queen Africa. I only hear people said to resemble me. And I accept it. Because I know of her mom. That's why I accept it. You know of her mother? Yeah. Massive, you know. Mr. Morgan also say, even though um, she brought these allegations against him, he also still love her. Of course. Because she is his daughter at the end of the day. And, um, you know, I respect you for, you know, coming out today, um, giving me the opportunity to talk to you the few minutes of your time to, you Thank know, you, man. for you can express yourself the way you want to and um, to let the world know how you feel and what is happening. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man, Mr. Morgan, blessed love. And, and to be honest with you, I would love you to, if you could, I know it's a, it's a, it's a very serious situation, but to have you in my present, I would, I'm not sure if you could give me another song especially one of my favorite songs. Um, it's one of the songs. It's just a piece of it I want. Just, just a little bee in a piece of it. Which is that? You said it. <laughs> Fabian, you said it. I am a blazing fire. She can't hold this fire. This is one fire I freak a cannot hold. Bad-minded people, it takes one hand to wash the other. When I was singing for you, I neither get praise, much less praise. Beautiful. So Mr. Morgan, thank you so much again. Um, it's a pleasure. I um, you know you can't see, so I have to go all on for shaking. Touch, man. Touch. Big up every time, man. Thank you, um, thank you. Everything is going to be all right. You know, just of continue course. to be humble and thing. And, you know, the universe have eyes, so. That's um, right. When we grow up now, we say what's in the dark always come to the light. Of but course. But the truth will always prevail, right? That's right. That is it. Yeah, man. So, Massive, thank you so much for watching. Um, Mr. Derek Morgan here. Um, telling you all his take on the situation so thank you guys so much for watching again and we appreciate you and, and i hope all the friends of mr morgan family relative can reach out to him and you know embrace him in a time like this where he needs everyone the most you know he's a great man this man worked many years tirelessly for reggae music and his country and what he believes in so Blessed love, Mr. Morgan. Blessed love, my friend. I, uh, even in the end, I heard she would like the government to take away all of my um, honors that they gave me. That could never happen in no time. No time can happen. If, if I should show you my honors that I get in my singing from 19... 1957 till 83 now and I'm still singing the she can't stop me she will never ever stop me because right now next year if God's willing I'm already booked up blessings This is a great man here, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm glad that I, I get the, the opportunity to talk to him because, honestly, I said I was going to close, but honestly, when this news came out, and my phone started ringing about this situation, and, you know, family, friends calling me and telling me about it and such, I wanted some justification myself as a human, as a Jamaican, you know, as a person who look up to Mr. Morgan, you know, so I personally am happy 
to hear him saying what he's saying, you know, for himself to at least say, you know, we can actually say his, his word against hers. You understand? That's so, right. Other than him not saying anything and everyone wondering, everyone pondering, waiting, wondering, you know, mm -hmm. and then making it seem as if silent equal consent, you know, because that's how Jamaicans and many persons in the world think, you know. So, I'm getting a bit of justification just hearing some of the things that you're saying, you know, and we just want to see where this is going and I'm, I'm hoping that she will take you up on your off and come and apologize um, for the allegations brought against you. Okay. I wish. Because I know she don't feel good now, you know. I know she doesn't feel good about what she did. And you don't have, you can't really see a reason I around it because... I have no reason. She have no reason to do this. She have no reason. Before I close, let me ask you one last question. The song that she did, when she first did that song, did it ever spark any plug to you or, or anything at all? Oh no, what song? They, Daddy don't touch me? Yeah. No. Never feeling about that. No. And because in the end I heard that she said me, she make it out. All that. She lie. Because when she first did the song, you know, I know a lot of persons out there must be wondering. They wonder if it's me she was talking. Many people wonder. But when she get interviews, she always tell the interviewer, no, it's not my father. She say it with her own mouth. Oh, no, she so she say me. it before in, a, in interviews saying that when they ask her about the song, she say it's not you. Yes, she, she said to the interviewer, not me, she talking. Just a song? It's just a song for all the fathers them of show them kids. That's what she said. That's why she wrote the song. And I get to understand it's not even she wrote the song. So The man who produced the song, let me know, is him produce it and him write it. So it wasn't even Queen Africa it wrote the song? It was not her song. It only, him only asked her to sing the song. She terrible, but we still love her. It's okay. Massive, you know, I stay. I just real and natural and, you know, so things come to me, I just want, you know, make it come out and everybody can have a clear understanding here because I didn't know these things, you know. I spoke to the producer that produced that song and he told me that he wrote the song and he said to Tony Rebel said he would like Queen Africa to do the song for him. And Rebel bring Africa to her, to him. And they, they do this song. And he, she even, when she put in that part about him, I'm going to tell on you someday, I swear, her daddy don't touch me, dear. I'm going to tell on He said, he said to her, Tony said to her, you can't do that, Queen, because people will think you are talking your father, and your father is a big celebrity. That's what Tony Rebel said to her. That's what the guy told me. And, and after that, he still do the song and she drop in her little spot and said, she, because many men, fathers, touch them kids and so on, you know? And she never mentioned anything about you touching her, nothing like that. No. In, in... No. So I don't know where she get this allegation from and, and, and throw it on me. I'm vexed about that. Trust me. It's terrible. Mm. Oh boy. So all the massive who did not know that, just like me, who did not know it's so because I am just listening to Mr. Morgan speaking and all of these things are going through my head, you know, um, as a as a listener to and as a as a fan of both of them because I would be lying if I if I tell you that I don't listen to a lot of Queen Africa songs. 
You understand? Yeah, and, and a lover stage presents and a performance and all those things. You understand? It's not a person. If I had raped him, I freak her. Why would she come out and stage with me in Sweden? She and I sing in Sweden. She and stage and call up her daddy and I go there. And yet when I call her up at Tony Rebel, she didn't turn up. Because I don't know what she have in her mind. She terrible man. Thanks for that. So it go. He's still just, you know, taking it easy and just giving her love same speed. Yeah, I can't hit her. But you have to straighten out. If she was sleeping, I hope to get out of that dream. I just do hope to get out of her dream and get natural. Even when I saw everybody that high freaker, she cursed everybody on social media. Everybody she touched. She touched all the Prime Minister. She called him words, tell him this and that. She touched Babsy Grange. She touched him, him Lady Sir. She touched him Spice. She touched Pretty Dan. She do all kind of things with them people. So I never, I only feel funny about those things because my daughter and people bashing her and talking bad things about her. As a father, I, I never like it. I, I, I don't like it. No, it's a, my daughter, them as anger that way, you know? So it burn me when me hear all those things. Then frighten after she come out with my own and said, me pray for She's a damn liar. She even got far as to say, I stepped for the raper three times. Then she said, a lady raper. What happened to her? Why everybody raping her? The last thing I heard about her, she was on stage bawling out Derek Morgan is rapist. I have a man a whine her behind. What happened to her? She's sick. My son, I have a doctor son, Courtney. And Courtney said, I would like to help her. Call her up and I tell her, I said, well then, she wants to see a psychiatrist or something like that. And everybody willing to help her, you know. But she just keep away. Uncle, one of my daughters she in love with. I don't know why. I can see that you're really, really heartbroken. It me? hurt me, man. My heart bleed. Trust me. Can somebody... Can somebody really have him, them father, who is a celebrity, and then go up on social media and go say, him raper? She wicked, but we still love her. Yeah. Mr. Morgan, trust me, you know. I'm gonna close the interview right here, you know. Um, I believe that Mr. Morgan has said everything that he wanted to say. And, um, you know, we will follow up on this story um, as it goes forward. You know, and I just want to say to all Mr. Morgan fans and, you know, supporters around the world, um, you get your chance to hear what he's saying and um, see a different side of the story um, as to the allegations. So, blessed love. And um, I'm going to let you close by saying something to your fans um, before we go. Yeah, all my fans who always, especially in Germany, the last show I did in Germany, everyone in the audience was on a full capacity show. And everyone keeps saying, we love you. 
we love you, we love you. And I was sitting in my wheelchair, singing to them. And I, my, my, my tears come to my eyes when I was a white lady come and sit by me and start crying. I'm beloved by the world. In Germany, in, in Mexico, in Brazil, all over Europe, anywhere I go, I have full capacity shows, always. In America, all over. I'm, I have to tell my fans, thank you, and they love me, especially the skinheads. The skinheads love me gone to bed, you know? They call me the king of scare. They love me. And I love them too. So, whatever allegation you hear my daughter, I freak her, saying about me, my fans, nothing like that. She's a damn liar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Blessed love. And he said it. Big up. Thank you.